Hello my viewer and welcome back to Kate's Crochet. Today we are working on a granny square and I've already worked one piece which I've done using two colors. This is blue and this is a pink, uh, a shade of pink which is a baby pink. So we are going to do the same because I want this to be a pillowcase. So this is one side of it. So we are going to do the other one together. And I'm going to use the the pink color uh, for the whole of the of the square. So this is maybe going to be the front or uh, one side of the of the pillowcase and the one that we are doing it's going to be on the other side. So now to do this we need to make a slip knot. Here is mine and we make a chain of four. One, two, three and four. Sorry, this hook is a uh, 3.5. I forgot to measure that. And the yarn I'm using is a uh, winter king. So here is our chain and we slip stitch on the first chain. And this makes a small ring. You can as well do this using a magic ring. So now we chain three. And inside this ring, we are going to, uh, to do two more double crochets so that we have three. The three chains serves as our first double crochet. So now we have three double crochets we chain two we do three double crochets two and three so now we have two sets of three double crochets separated by chain three uh, sorry chain two again we chain two we do three double crochets now we have three sets of three double crochets separated by a chain two and we make we chain two and we make another set of three double crochets such that we have four sets of three double crochets so now we have four of them and this is the number of corners that we're going to have in this square as you can see this square has four corners so it is determined by the number of uh, clusters that we make in the beginning chain and this is it so now after this we're going to chain two and find our starting chain which is this one and slip stitch on top of the third a stitch so we slip stitch there and our first round is complete yeah so we have four sets of three double crochets so now from here we are going to slip stitch onto the next double crochet we slip stitch to the next until we get to this space and we also slip stitch inside there so now we are at the chain two space we make a chain of three And now we are going to work inside this chain two space. So we already have this chain three, which is going to serve as our first double crochet. So we do two more double crochets. That is three. We make a chain of two. And again, in the same space, we work three double crochets. That is two 
and another one three so now in this space we have three double crochets chain two and three double crochets and you can see that so now we are going to skip these three double crochets here from the previous row and we chain two we go to the next chain two space and we work the same as we did here so we skip these three and to this uh, to that space we make three double crochets chain two and three double crochets so i have my first three doubles chain two and three double crochets two and three so this is our first corner this will be our second and now to the third we chain two we skip these three double crochets here we go to the chain two space and we work three double crochets that is two and three We chain two to the same space we make three double crochets three chain two skip the next three double crochets to this space we work three double crochets one two and three chain two in the same space three double crochets and all our corners are done so we have this first corner second third and fourth and now to finish this round remember we were chaining two before we go to the next uh, corner so now again we chain two and we slip stitch to complete this round so on top of the chain three the first the beginning stitch we slip stitch on top of that slip stitch to the next on top of the double crochet you slip stitch slip stitch again to the next and slip stitch on the chain two space and now our corners are so much very visible so we have one two three and four yeah so now something you must note above every double uh, three double crochets there is a space and that is chain two space for example in the first round we have three double crochets here so the next round we did a chain two space above that yeah so now to go to the next row we chain three so in every corner we are going to be doing two clusters of three double crochets all right you will get that once we proceed so now we are on the first corner we work two double crochets plus the chain three that makes three two double crochets plus the other one we have three chain two in that same space because we are the corner we make three double crochets three double crochets so as we said above these three double crochets we make a chain of two and we go to this space now where we are going to work three double crochets only three double crochets all right chain two we come to the corner and we do three double crochets chain two three double crochets i have my first three double crochets i chain two and three more double crochets
so that's our second corner we go to the next space which is this one we chain two we go to that space and work only three double crochets so you note we are only working three double crochets twice only on the corners so once we're done with that you chain two and now we come to the corner and we do three double crochets chain two three double crochets and that is now how to increase on this um, particular pattern it increases on the corners so we are done with the third corner we chain two we skip the three double crochets we come to this space and we work three double crochets chain two we come to our last corner three double crochets chain two and three double crochets and now we are on the last side this is our first second third and the fourth side so on that we chain two in this space which is a chain two space we make three double crochets and now to complete this row we make chain two and we slip stitch on top of the first chain slip stitch until you get to the chain space which is at the corner so now here is how it looks four sides four corners and it's a square yeah so now in the previous row we had only one space this one and this one but now from this row we have two on each side so in every row we are going to be increasing one more space of chain two and this is what to do in the all of this pattern so now from here we are going to chain three and in this corner we are going to do as we did in the previous rows we're going to do two more double crochets we have three chain two and three more double crochets from here every space between one corner and the other corner which is this and this and it keeps growing as we go with the rows as you can see on this one we are going to work three double crochets in every space between two corners yeah so let's do that we chain two remember to chain two three double crochets chain two three double crochets and now to the corner we chain two and work three double crochets on that corner chain two and three double crochets don't forget that And the corners are so much visible that you can't just skip so you work three more double crochets we turn now to this other side we chain two and to the first space here we make three double crochets chain two 
chain two, three double crochets in this space, chain two to the corner we work as usual, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, chain two, and three more double crochets. Chain two, we turn to this other side, we work three double crochets on the first space. Chain two, three double crochets. Chain two, we come to the corner, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. We turn to the final side of this granny, we chain two, and in the next two spaces, we work three double crochets in each. Separated by a chain two. And now we approach the end of this row. Chain two and we finish by doing a slip stitch. We slip stitch until we get to the corner where we have chain two. We chain three and you repeat this until you get your desired size of whatever you're making. This can be done on a blanket. On a pillowcase like this, on a table runner or a bed runner, it's a nice stitch. You can as well do this on a scarf or neck warmer and it's very light. Yeah. So this is how it grows. You can see the corners, how they are growing. And now as I said, we started with one space. In the next row we had two. We have now three and if you continue, it keeps on growing by one. So this is it for this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you've not subscribed. If you are a new member, welcome so much. If you are a returning member, thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, and comment down below. Let's interact on the comment section and suggest what you'd like to see next. Thank you so much and goodbye for now.